Hey friends, Tux here. I have something cool here, which I've been wanting to buy for a while now, and I haven't. I've resisted to this point, but do you know what? Now is the time. I went ahead and got a Echo Dot, okay? And the reason why I did this is I really wanted a smart device in my home that I could control Sirius XM radio on, okay? So somebody could listen to a little Sirius, you know, not a big stereo, just a little something, you know, but it'd be small enough that it wouldn't be real, you know, like a huge stereo or whatever, just something little, you know? And that's where this comes in place. And this is also a smart device, so it can do different things like Alexa is built into it which is nice you know so we'll check this out it has updated design delivers a crisp vocals and balanced bass for sound this is really meant for music which is really nice compared to just being some like little speaker you know what I'm saying it plays music uh, turn on compatible lights access to Alexa skills well with your voice so pretty cool so that way you can do hands-free for a number of things in the house looks pretty cool has a little light to it I guess you can do things like Alexa is happy to help hey Alexa wake me up at seven to pop music so yeah actually could be like an alarm clock so I'm gonna test that because um, I would love to wake up to Sirius XM radio that's really cool actually Alexa play me the news there you go like it can do different things so it's a cool little device not real big it works off a 3.5 millimeter line out so you can plug headphones in if you want even Bluetooth very cool hands free with Alexa and microphone on and off for privacy so very good stuff let's go ahead and open this up okay cutting the top here we'll give this a little snippy snip there we go Interesting how there's like little arrows on the top. I almost feel like it was made to like cut open it on its own or something like a tear Oh, there is a tear thing. Okay. Yeah, I didn't catch that. All right. Well, no biggie it looks like we have two things in here Number step number one is hook up Alexa to your phone. Number two is plug in that device. All right Okay, pulling out of the box here does come with its own power supply and this does surprise me a little bit This is actually a pretty a pretty big honking power supply um, It's nice that it includes one but I kind of figured it would be like USB-C or something So it's interesting that it comes with a normal power supply. Maybe it needs the extra power for the music I'm not sure um, but very cool that it's at least a form factor that is small enough to sit to the side Which is nice. So anyway cool little device cord so I'm grateful that it comes with a cord and here is the device itself um, Feels pretty heavy actually. I'm surprised this actually has a little more weight than I expected um, Very cool looking. Let me go ahead and peel off the, the stuff here. Oh, I didn't notice there's like a some controls here So we have uh, looks like on and off. We have plus and minus sound um, this is clickable You can kind of feel a little tactile feedback when you press the button, which is nice um, The top has a nice cloth speaker feel to it At the bottom We have a headphones and we have the power so this is where you plug in your little power so very simple just like that, and this course goes into the wall socket. Very easy, okay? And it has a nice rubber base to it, so it's not gonna slide, it has a little Amazon symbol there. And that is it, guys. Let me go ahead and hook this up, and we'll check this out together. Actually, this was hiding in the bottom of the box. Let me go over this real quick. We have a little Echo Dot instruction manual. <laughs> I did notice that it was kind of sitting down there. Um, and hello, bonjour, hola. Okay, so very nice. And it had something in here which caught my eye, actually. Um, right here, this page two here has the controls we talked about. But right here, um, wake up words, indicators. Alexa doesn't begin listening to your Echo device to text the word Alexa. Okay, so if you're just talking with your friends, it shouldn't be recording you or doing anything weird yeah it waits for that word when here's Alexa that's when the microphone kicks in and it starts listening to your conversation okay uh, microphone controls you can easily uh, electronically disconnect the microphone if you want so you don't have to worry about um, artificial intelligence taking over or whatever and then voice history if you want to know exactly what Alexa's heard apparently on the app you can go through and play your recordings at any time so you can know what Alexa is listening to in your conversation so if you're snoring in your sleep or something and if you want to know if Alexa's recording that you can find out out, okay, um, you do have to download the Alexa app on your phone. Very easy. Talks about the ports we talked about and um, really basic instructions. Nothing too hard. Looks like there's an easy to tear out page here um, with different you know things you can do with your Alexa, like you know play me a book or you know how many uh, kilometers are in a mile. You know uh, you can ask it questions, which is pretty cool actually. So anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Okay, I got my Alexa all set up for privacy reasons. I'm not going to show the actual setup um, process because it includes Wi-Fi passwords, and that kind of thing. But all in all, very easy to set up. It's just like setting up any other Wi-Fi enabled device, like perhaps like the very first time when you get your cell phone, hooking your cell phone up to your Wi-Fi. You know, it's, it's a very simple process. If you have any particular questions, just shoot me a message, text toys at gmail.com or put a comment down below because you know I'll help you out. But anyway, guys, I'd say this is a pretty easy device and actually I got it to play serious. I'm worried about um, like uh, copyright strikes, but just as an example, um, you can set an alarm and you can set the alarm to Sirius, which is great. It has other functions like creating shopping lists. You can ask it weird questions. Hey Alexa, what's the weather?
Maybe not. Maybe I'll put it to sleep. Let's see. Alexa, what's the weather? Currently, in Key West, it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect partly sunny weather with a high of 85 degrees and a low of 75 degrees. One more thing. I have a morning updates routine that will provide you updates on the weather and your deliveries for today. Do you want to try it? Not right now. No problem. Okay, so you can see it's pretty user friendly for sure. Um, if you want to play Sirius, you can say Alexa, please play Sirius XM. Actually, I think Alt Nation from Sirius XM. Yeah, it's interesting. It actually knows that. Let me mute this because I don't want to get a copyright strike. It knows that Alt Nation is the station I like to listen to on Sirius. So it's pretty cool. It actually knew that uh, from past experience. So it does learn as you go. So anyway, guys, a cool little device. If I start thinking there's any safety concerns with privacy or whatever, I'll let you know. This is kind of a weird test, but I just wanted it every now and then we have conversations like, you know, like who's that voice actor or something, you know, for anime is that kind of thing. So Alexa, tell me a joke. What did the latter call the footstool? What? His stepbrother. Oh, terrible. All right. So it's very good at telling bad jokes. It might not be so good at some of the other functions to start, but pretty cool all in all. So once connected, you do have to have it hooked to your phone. OK, so that's something you should expect. Um, but most people have a modern smartphone, so it really shouldn't be a problem hooking it up. Um, it does have a lot of functions that you don't have to use. You can just pick the skills or functions that you want it to do. Like for me, the big thing was honestly just being able to play Sirius XM to wake up. I wanted that, you know, so it looks like it could do that. No problem. So and it actually has a really good bass response. It sounds pretty darn good, actually. So um, I don't want to get a copyright strike so I can't play commercial music on this video without being striked um, so I'm not gonna play a commercial song but you have to trust me on this it actually has pretty good bass you know and I'm sure it's returnable to Amazon if you're unhappy with it for any reason so I'd recommend picking one up check it out I will have a link for this down below you can test it with me together and if you find anything weird about it you can uh, like test it I do see in the app one weird thing it says uh, big fart Alexa play big fart I think I had the volume down let me turn up the volume there we go Alexa, play Big Fart. Hmm, I don't know that one. Oh, it doesn't, but check it out right here. Maybe it's something you have to launch. Uh, it's like, see recommended skills, Alexa, play Big Fart, novelty and humor. Um, you can have it play rain sounds, like Alexa, open rain sounds. Okay, here's rain sounds by Sleep Jar. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hopefully it's not copyright. Alexa, stop rain sound. Okay, I guess Alexa stop was good enough for it to go. Um, but anyway, so pretty cool stuff. I mean, all sorts of crazy apps. I'm gonna test this a little bit more and maybe do a follow-up video down the road. But if you have anything weird or anything to say about um, this, this Echo Dot, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm really curious your take on it, but um, I think it's worth picking up. It's a good introductory level into smart devices for your home, okay? All right, friends, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, again, any questions, let me know. And click the link and let's do this together. Let's test this bad boy out together. Pick up one for yourself, not that expensive. And the holidays are coming up. It's it's only a couple months to Christmas, so now is the time to start thinking about Christmas gifts. And this will make a really fun gift for somebody, especially since it can tell jokes, it can read books, it can, you know, play music. There's a lot of things you can do with this. I mean, think of like a senior citizen listening to like audiobooks would be really nice, or kids listening to music, or you know, just telling bad dad jokes or whatever. You know, it can be a fun little device. And I'm sure there's all sorts of other things in the app that I haven't even discovered yet. Uh, useful things like making grocery lists and all sorts of things, ordering things off Amazon, of course. You know, if need be so anyway guys thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon click the link bye bye